How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Money making in Forza Horizon 4 can be tricky for some, but easy for others. The amount of money that you can make with money methods can sometimes rely on the amount of credits you have to start with. For example, there's quite a lot of methods where you need to start off with a lot of credits and a lot of skill points to actually take advantage of them. And there's also sums which don't. So this video is going to be the ultimate money making guide for Forza Horizon 4. Whether you have 20,000 credits or 20 million credits, this video will help you make even more. There are going to be so many money methods in this video, some of which I've figured out myself and some of which are from scattered around YouTube. For example, Donjo One Song, The Racing Monkey, everyone has kind of contributed to finding out money making methods. I'll have a link to both of those in the description. But this video is going to be the ultimate money making guide. Now on screen right now there are going to be some timestamps that you can skip to if you are here for a specific part of the video. For example, method 1 may give you 1 million credits an hour, method 5 might give you 20. So if you're here to skip to a specific point, you know where to go to, however I would still recommend watching the full thing. Now to start off with making credits in Forza Horizon 4, unfortunately you need to do some boring stuff. Races are actually quite a good way to make credits in Forza Horizon 4 anyway, however there are certain ones which can give you a lot more than usual. So method 1 is a 50 lap race which takes 50 minutes which gives you between 500,000 and a million credits an hour. Now the bonus about this race is it is an offline race so you can do it wherever you want whether you have internet or not, it's not a custom race you don't have to rely on anything and this is the race that it is. If you click the pause button, go to world map, go up to the Holyrood park circuit up at the mountain and do this one. Go to enter event, go to solo, create blueprint, pick anything goes so you can win quite easily. But make sure you go to event settings and set it to 50 laps. Make sure weather is on clear and time of day is on whatever you prefer. Go to create a blueprint, I recommend picking a Forza Edition car and it, and it will take you about 50 minutes to an hour to complete all 50 laps and just from the credit rewards, if you have VIP you will get somewhere between 500 to 600,000 credits with a Forza Edition. That's not including all the wheel spins you'll get as well, which hopefully you'll also get credits from that. So if you're starting off in Forza Horizon 4, spend an hour on this race and it will get you enough credits to start off doing some bigger methods. This one is between 500 and a million credits an hour. Method number two is also a race, however it's a lot better of a custom race. Donjo One Song I believe was the first person to do this, so as I said links to him, but this method, method two, will give you between one and two million credits per hour. And this is what it is. I've set up a custom race myself for this circuit. If you go to my gamer tag in the top left hand corner of the screen, you can see right now JKXVXYT. And if you add me and then go to any drift zone or speed trap in the game, for example, this one, view leaderboard when hovering over it and then try to find my name because you've got me added. I will be on here somewhere. This is surprisingly one of the only ways to find people's blueprints in the game. However, you've got to do what you got to do. So once you've found my name, click on me, go to View Creative Hub, go to Blueprints Events, and there will be a race on there called the One Mil Plus Hour Highway. This is a hour race up and down the motorway, which is 20 laps. I also highly recommend choosing another Forza Edition vehicle for this one as well. And this will give you between 1 and 1.5 million credits just for the race along with a load of skill points and a load of wheel spins as well. So with the wheel spins you should get even more credits for your time spent. So this is method 2, between 1 and 2 million credits an hour. Method 3 is where we get into the technical little jibber jabbers. Method 3 relies on having skill points. Method 3 is very good, however method 3 you kind of need credits to make more, which is why I highly recommend doing a couple of the previous methods to get your credits up and then you can start on these next ones. There are quite a few cars in the game, or if you go to the car mastery, you will find, or find, sorry, a skill that you can buy that will literally just give you credits. For example, in the Audi R8 V10 Plus, I can spend 19 skill points and get 300,000 credits without having to spend a penny apart from some skill points. 
Obviously you need the R8 V10 Plus to start off with, which is why this isn't a good one to do it with, however, there are some which are really good. If you go to the Auto Show and then go to View All Cars, find the Porsche 911 Turbo 3.3 for 150,000 credits, you can then go to the car mastery of this car, and you can spend 19 skill points on this one, and get 300,000 credits back. So you will make 150,000 credits profit for every 19 skill points you have. So if you have 190 skill points, you will make 1.5 million credits instantly. In 10 minutes, this could take you. So depending on how many skill points you have to start with, I'm gonna say that in this method, you can make between 1.5 million credits and 5 million credits an hour. However, this isn't the only car that you can do this with. There is another car called the Triumph Spitfire. For example, I'm gonna to go to the auction house right now and find a couple. This is actually a barn find vehicle, so unfortunately you cannot really find them and buy them in the auto show. However, I've just picked up a Triumph Spitfire from the auction house here for 22,000 credits. And there's another one here for 22,000 credits. Another one here for 11,000 credits. So I've just bought four Triumph Spitfires for about 10 to 20,000 credits each. However, these Triumph Spitfires, although only costing 20,000 credits to buy, they actually have a skill point which will give you 200,000 credits back. Now, the only risk to doing this one is on the auction house. There's no guarantee that the skill points haven't already been used. Now, I'm going to say this right now. If you do this method and buy any of these Spitfires from the auction house, please do not list them because anyone else who's watching this video may end up going and buying it and they will receive a Spitfire which already has the skill point bought. So let's all work together. Let's all be nice to each other. And if you buy one of these Spitfires and if you buy the perk, do not relist it because you're only going to make someone's day worse. So there we go. We have four Triumph Spitfires now. And we're going to go into each one and buy the 200,000 perk, which is hopefully here. Oh, it seems like I've got one here, which unfortunately already has the perk purchased, but that's not an issue. Let's move on. You rarely find ones which have the perk listed. And that's why I'm asking you, please, do not relist the car if you've already bought the perk in it. Here we go, this one's just fine. So now we're going to spend 20 skill points along with a wheel spin, which is pretty cool. In 20 skill points, we are going to get 200,000 credits. There we go, so 200,000 credits just like that, and that only cost me 20,000 credits to buy. So you can do this with as many Triumph Spitfires as you find on the auction house, but you're in a risk of finding one that's already purchased but it only cost you 20,000 credits to buy, so you're not that much money down. So do this with as many Triumph Spitfires as you can find, and you will make 180,000 credits for every Spitfire that already has it purchased. Or as I said, if you want to do it the safe way, then do it with the Porsche 911 Turbo 3.3 from the Auto Show. Buy it for 150,000, spend some skill points, make 150,000 profit, and then you can even put this up on the auction house. But either way, in the Spitfire or the 911 Turbo, you will get between 1.5 and 5 million credits an hour, depending on how many skill points you have. Now, method four is a follow-up to the previous two methods, and this is where the serious money starts coming in. Thanks to the Racing Monkey for making people aware of this, but you can combine two of these methods, which will still not take any extra time at all, but you'll make anywhere between three and eight million credits per hour. You may be able to make more than eight, you may make less than three, but that's the general ballpark of what's available here. Now, as I said a minute ago, you can make 1.5 million credits for every 190 skill points that you get because you can continuously buy the Porsche 911 GT3s and get 150,000 credits profit per car. Now, what if I told you that you can get about 300 skill points per hour while you're doing one of the other methods? And 300 skill points will get you an instant 2.4 million credits. Remember that race I told you about a minute ago where you go up down the highway and get about a million credits after the hour? Well, if you do this race correctly, go up and down the highway each time without crashing and losing your skill chain, all being well, you should get between two and 300 skill points from this race. So in the hour that it takes you to do the race, not only will you get over a million credits from the race and some wheel spins, you'll also get 300 plus skill points if it's done correctly. And those 300 plus skill points can be turned back into over two and a half million credits 
from the 911 GT3s. So if you do this, if you do the one hour high ray race, get 300 skill points, get nearly 2 million credits from just the race and the wheel spins, and then get another 2 to 3 million credits from the skill points that you earned from the race, you'll be getting between 5 and 8 million credits per hour, depending on how many 911s you can buy, and depending on how many skill points and credits you get in the race. So that is another extremely good method. Now method five is actually to fiddle around with the auction house. This is the method I did in my auction house money making video. However, I'm going to make it very brief and simple for this. Now in this auction house method, you can make anywhere between 1 million credits and maybe even 100 million credits an hour. It all depends on your luck. If you sit for an hour, you can probably but it'll be safe to say that you probably make at least 5 to 10 million credits, as long as there's a tiny bit of luck involved. The reason this is the last method is because you need credits to start off with this. I would highly recommend at least 2 to 3 million credits to start this method off with. However, it'd work with one. Now, there are two types of people which list cars on the auction house. One of them are the people we're going to target, and one of them we want to avoid. The first type of person is someone who goes through their auto show, picks a car, does it up, think, right, I'm going to sell this now, it looks cool, it's done up, let's get some money, and they go and list it on the auction house. A normal listing. However, the type of people that we want to target are the people that just want some money, find a car, think, I'm just going to list this on the auction house, I don't even want it anymore, and they just go through with it and don't even fiddle with any settings. Or they're also the type of people that win a car from a wheel spin and just list it straight away without even caring or looking at the price. So what I'm trying to say here is that there are cars that get listed on the auction house for an extremely low buyout price that sell almost instantly. And this method is to how to spot those and how to buy them and then resell them for instant profit. And I mean instant profit. For example, the BMW M6 Forza Edition, if we search for this, this is just an example by the way, don't do it for this one, we can see that this car is selling for an extremely stable 500,000 credits, or 400 to 500,000. Someone's bidding on it here for 300,000 credits. The buyout prices are very, very, very stable, as you can see. So the method is to find a car that sells for a very stable amount of credits. There's not much fluctuation in the buyout price. It's all kind of around 500,000 credits. Find a car like that and then continuously search for the car. So here, it was the BMW M6 Forza Edition, but go to the max buyout and put it way below the max buyout. So I'm gonna search for 300,000 credit M6 Forza Edition here. And if any are listed, it's obviously going to be worth buying straight away because we're going to make so much money. So we're going to search for it and there's none on the market, which is fine. That's normal. However, your method is to find a car and then continuously search for it over and over again. And honestly, you'll be surprised at the amount of cheap cars you find listed. It's just a case of going to the car over and over again, finding the BMW. There it is. Going to the M6, going to max buyout and continuously searching until one gets listed. And because you're continuously searching, you'll be the first person to get there and buy it. The only issue is you have to be confident if you search for this car for a low price, if one comes up for that low price, you have to be confident you'll make profit. For example, for that BMW 6, I am confident because they were all selling for half a million. So if I get one for 300,000, I'm going to make a couple hundred thousand profit. And this works with basically any single car. For example, let's try the Ferrari LaFerrari. We're going to search for this and try it out. This is also very good because these buyout prices are very stable. This is a strange one, look. These buyout prices, 1.7 million, 1.6, 1.7, 1.7, but there's one down here for 1.1 million. So I'm going to buy that right now. And this one's only been listed for a few minutes. So I've just bought that LaFerrari there for 1.1 million credits. But people up here, they're bidding 1.3. They're bidding 1.1. Now there you go, the guys are bidding 1.2 million credits now and I've just bought one for 1.1 and they've not even noticed because I managed to find it as soon as it was listed. So 1.7 million credits is what their normal buyouts are. So if you're going to use the LaFerrari for example, we'll go to the Ferrari, we'll go to LaFerrari and the max buyout we're going to put... We'll put that to 1.1 million and then what you would do is continuously search until they come up and you would buy them and then relist them. 
The Veneno will sell for between three and a half and five million credits. You can see the buyout is is basically dead on five million for nearly every single one. However, believe it or not, you can find Lamborghini Venenos listed for two million credits. If you go to Lamborghini, go to Veneno, go to Max Buyout and continuously search over and over again for the Lamborghini Veneno for two million credits. If you're lucky, you'll find one and that will be an instant three million credit profit for you because you find one that's been listed at a low price. We'll try one more example while we're here. Let's try the Lamborghini Centenario. Okay, we can confidently see that the Lamborghini Centenario sells for 2 million credits. They've got bids on here, but the buyouts are around 2.6. And there's one here that's been listed for 1.2 million credits. I can't believe I've just found that. This is living proof that this method works. This car has been listed for only 3 minutes. That's why no one's bought it yet, but it's on for 1.2 million credits. And up here, people are bidding on them for two. So you've just seen live footage. I bought this car for 1.2. I'm going to be able to sell it for at least two. So that's 800,000 credits profit in a minute. It seriously is so stupid the money you can make from finding cars that have been listed for just a few minutes. So what I would do with this Centenario is I would go to search cars and I would now continuously search for the Centenario for less than 1.3 million credits because I know that they sell for more than two. So if I can swipe any for 1.2, I'm going to make some good profits. One last one I'm going to try. I'm going to try the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. This is an extremely stable one by the looks of it. Two to three million credits these will sell for. So if I can find a Koenigsegg 1 to 1 listed for 1 to 1.5 million credits, that's a banging amount of profit. So if you want to try it with a Koenigsegg, go over to Koenigsegg. We know they sell for 3 million. However, you'd search for them for between 1 and 1.5. And because trust me, they do get listed for that amount, but they sell so quickly that you never really find them unless you're trying to look for them. So any Koenigseggs? No. But just continuously search and you'll find one. So yeah, I know Method 5 was a long one to explain and I know I babbled on a bit. Trust me, I have bought two cars for this method and in five minutes, I think. And that's already a million credits profit that I'm going to make in five minutes. So if you do this continuously, you can make unbelievable amounts of money between five and a hundred million per hour. Or you could get unlucky and only make a million, but it's still a good method to do. I'm doing this midday UK time, so everyone in the UK is at school, everyone in the US is just waking up and going to school or going to work, everyone in Australia is asleep, so there's not many people on, which is why I've managed to find so many cheap cars that people haven't already bought yet. But there are also downsides to doing this at a quiet time, there's not as many cheap cars being listed because there's not many people on. So if you do this at a quiet time of the day for the whole world, it may be easier to find cars cheap because not many people are on to buy them. However, it may be harder to find more cars because there's not many people on to list them. If you're doing this at a busy time of the day, so in the evening when everyone's on, there'll be a lot of cars getting listed because there's a lot of people on. However, because there's a lot of people on, it might be difficult to be the one to buy them. So no matter what time of day you do this, there's good sides and downsides. So yeah, I believe guys with this very long money making video, if you start from the beginning and work your way up, it may take you a day or even a week to do these bits by bits one by one. But you've seen how to get your first million credits, you've seen how to make even more credits from the skill points and everything you get, and you've also seen how you can make a lot more credits from the auction house after you have credits from the previous methods. If you have any trouble getting any of these methods to work properly, then let me know in the comment section below. But these are nearly all of the credit methods that are worth doing in Forza Horizon 4. Bearing in mind these are all methods, not glitches, so these will never get patched. These are all legitimate and all very well, well worth doing. I'm pretty confident with all the methods in this video, you could get a brand new account, start from zero, go up to a million credits, and then go over five to 10 million credits in just a few hours work. But anyway, ladies, please leave a like if you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 videos. And I will see you all in the next video.